forgot you've never seen my apartment before. Well, here it is, the torture chamber. I can't wait to, to get out of it and away from her. Come on in. Come on. It's not the place, mind you. It's not a bad apartment, really. It's just that a wife comes with it. Well, thanks to you, that's not going to go on much longer. I'm going to tell her that I don't love her anymore. I love you. I want that divorce, and we're going to be so happy. Come on. Will you please come on in? I really don't come think on. I oh, should sure. do come one of you like <laughs> I think I should, Victor. You're so forceful. Oh, now come on. I really don't. Now come on. No, Victor, please. Come on. Come on, come on now. Will you relax, darling? I just can't. I'm so come nervous on. about Come on. Nothing to be nervous about. My wife comes here, we'll tell her everything, and it'll be all over. You're not going to tell her everything, are you, Victor? Everything, sweetheart. Uh, sh- sh- you're not going to. You're not going to tell her that she's seen me in, in my pajamas? <laughs> If I have to, I will, my love. No, no. Please don't tell her that you saw me in the pajamas that don't have the feet in them. Sweetheart, what's the matter with you? Now, we want to be open and above board with this, don't we? Now, why do, why do I want a divorce? So I can marry you, right? All right, but, but please, please don't be harsh with the poor dear. I can't stand harshness. Darling, I would never do anything to embarrass you. I'll be as tactful as possible. Good, well, I don't have to stay here then, do I? Well, of course you have to stay here, Tweety Bird. <laughs> Darling, I want her to see what I'm getting. Oh, there's a key in the lock. That should be her. Hello, Victor, darling. Hello, Uggo. I don't know whether your feeble little brain can grasp this, but I want you to meet the woman I love. Hello, Uggo. So this is the other woman, huh, Victor? Where did you find her? Obedience school? I don't believe that you could stoop that low. I know you would say rocky things about me, but to pick on this sweet, wholesome woman. <laughs> she used to be an Olympic swimmer. Up, 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 sweetheart, up, up. That oh, no, girl. I stooped, Victor. Yeah? I think it's your behavior that's shocking and degrading. Why? Because I found myself another woman. Another woman I could take, Victor, but this? That's right. This is what I prefer over you. Victor, is this another one of your sick jokes? You couldn't possibly be in love with this. Why? What's wrong with her? Don't ask her, Victor. She I mean, you see? For one thing, Victor, look at the way she's dressed. I mean, really. Looks like someone dumped a goodwill truck on the woman. Well, all you're interested in is the surface. Then I describe her surface as some ways between brick and stucco. I'll have you know this woman's got a brain. And she has a heart of gold. Don't, Victor. Take my word on that. Well, I can see you two have your little minds made up on marriage, so I guess I'll just be civilized about the whole thing. May I get you a drink, miss? Uh... I love a Gatorade. <laughs> a Gatorade, how charming, Victor. Oh, that's another thing I like about this woman. She doesn't have to get dressed up in those fancy low cut clothes and go to those fancy cocktail parties and guzzle down martinis all night. Thank you, Ugo. No, she doesn't need alcohol to bring out her personality. She's lively and vivacious and bubbling without all that. As a matter of fact, my dear, she doesn't even drink at all. She does now, Victor. That's straight scotch. <laughs> oh, that's very funny, Louise. Oh, very amusing, my dear. But I am not amused. No, my dear, I'm not amused, and I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. And also... I am not surprised because no one has ever accused you of being considerate. Considerate? Considerate? You talk about being considerate, Victor, and you bring that into my house in only two days after I've cleaned it? <laughs> Why can you talk like that in front of this poor unfortunate creature? Because I'm desperate. And you, you brazen hussy! <laughs> sure, it's easy for you. Everywhere you go, men throw themselves at your feet. They grovel for you. 
But me, well, I'm just an ordinary housewife. <laughs> There's nothing I can do but beg. Beg, do you hear me? There's nothing I can do against your tricks but beg and please don't take it. <laughs> Please leave my little flounder alone. My darling, I had no idea. My sweet, how can you ever forgive me? Oh, I don't have to forgive you. Victor, I love you that much. You call this nothing to forgive? I can't accept that. My darling, I hope to do something to make it up to you. I know, let's take a cruise. We'll throw away the past. <laughs> and start our life all over. I'm so excited. It'll be like a second honeymoon. Just like a second honeymoon. Oh, oh my darling. darling. I'm so glad we I'm had so this dog. Glad. I'm so glad this came out of the open. Me too. I'm going to be moseying along. <laughs> the heck with a second honeymoon. Let's make it a first honeymoon, darling. Let's go make the arrangements. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 